In my pursuit of catching up with the manga scene, I have completed Chainsaw Man Part 1 and I'm up to Part 2 now. But after completing Part 1 and I was completely blown away thinking, wow, you know, what a take on the human condition. What an ode to the beauty of the ugly in our world contradictions and all that and while thinking about it and making connections here and there to other things that i like you know blowout 1981 or parasite 2019 i really thought that fujimoto was really like a rocky you know but more so a metal slash punk rock version of him you know i don't say that for everything i don't be like uh kishimoto is is an urasawa because those people just don't make anything I like, but there was something about this Araki and Fujimoto connection. And I wanted to explain my thought process and mention some potential contemporaries that people might like if they saw these two mangas, but I think that's not really what I want to talk about here. I want to talk about what makes the connection and as it is in the title, what is the indomitable human spirit? I'm not exactly the best at conveying my thoughts, but I'll try. It's not enough to say that humanity bounces back from everything. It's not a fast process, nor is it consistent, pretty, pleasant, or complete. Sometimes you come back and you're up to 50%, maybe lower. You're not even sure that you're making any progress as you're past those times and all that you can do is look forward and look towards the future without being there. And sometimes the future is grim. Sometimes you face almost complete annihilation of your character. And it's just an ongoing fight and you're steadily trying to ground yourself in the face of the storm of adversity and it's going to hurt it's going to be sickening you might be completely unrecognizable to yourself but despite everything it's still you the human spirit is not a battery you know that, 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 just, that just gets recharged it's this eternal flame that faces an infinite amount of obstruction lots will happen to kill the fire and there will be periods where the fire itself just believes it cannot continue but it does not because it wants to not because it doesn't not because it it has to but it just it does it's not that we're strong or weak terms like that couldn't even begin to quantify the type of power that it is. Uh, simply put, we are. That's why we do. In the way that stars burn, bees fly, water is, humanity continues. To me, that's the indomitable human spirit. Jojo's is an ode to life and a celebration of humanity. Without the help from machines or technology, the main character faces danger with their bodies as their only weapon. For me, it's a principle, and that was Hirohiko Araki. The characters of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure are usually introduced in their recovering form, and if they're not recovering, we get to see someone before their complete destruction, somewhere down the line. Their journey, while based on the goal of defeating the primary antagonist, their true battle is the mental warfare happening during this perilous journey. Take a character like Johnny Joestar, or let's say Naranja Girga for a more recent example. It's just so gutting to see what the world would do to someone so young, failed by the system, outcasted by the world. And I can hear the faint screams in the distance, you know? He's just like me, for real. I get it, yeah. Because it's true. And seeing someone like Narancia being saved by the compassion of another lost soul being Fugo, and alongside you have Bruno overseeing the potential of this, the future of this youth, 
so he's not lost in this dangerous world, you know? Bruno knows how it can change you, how it all can just make you into this unrecognizable version of yourself, like I said before, but Narancia says, no, I will stand for what I believe. And what's amazing about it is that since they're standing on what they believe, their belief is in Bruno because Bruno believes in them. I'm like, oh my God, come on, man. This is real cinema. What are we talking about? But yeah, and then, my goodness, it, Tatsuki Fujimoto and his work, Chainsaw Man, specifically. Without spoiling, because I understand that there's people not caught up, Tatsuki Fujimoto's Chainsaw Man is one of my favorite manga that's dropped in the last decade. So why, you know? Why is that? Denji, there are many things that the world wants Denji to be and to use him for his ability and potential. They have a role already established onto this character. And he, Denji has the potential to be an immense power in this verse, but he's been so broken down in his life. So now it's about doing what makes sense to him. And he doesn't have the correct or, or even normal answers a lot of the time. He's a lost soul and he's just being continuously like enticed by these other things that want him to, to be something, to use him. But what he truly wanted is, is to be normal and stable and he's just working so hard going over so many mental hurdles just to get to that point life just is such at a negative for him and it continuously is that and he wants no 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 he needs to get back to zero and, and then you're seeing that the you know this that that connection needs to get back to zero part five part seven uh, uh, uh. come on and it's such a broken and messed up world where everyone is it, it's you're just so confused it, there's gray but then there's a lot of just messed up in general it's just so the zero is the most ideal situation that someone would want to be in and i think that's one of the most relatable things you could do and that's what was done with denji yeah i think that's what i wanted to say so not only do we experience bizarre adventures in both series even even the one that doesn't have bizarre adventure in the name the main thing i'd say that they're doing for the reader is is looking to you and giving you a big old Maybe a big old thumbs up telling you, hey, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff is cooked, you know, but you, you, you can do this. Even when you don't believe in you, the idea of what humanity is believes in you. And that's why I want you to read and watch Jojo, you know, read, watch Chainsaw Man. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, peace out and Godspeed.